very nice day. Uh, today, we're going to talk about what definitely was my favorite SAP Business One feature when I learned about it. And you probably know about this feature. Um, it's called the relationship map and uh, is really helpful. And I've noticed that it's a favorite among users, but it does have some additional features within that uh, you might be not so familiar with. Let's open a purchase order. Uh, and um, the basics of the relationship uh, map in SAP Business One is that when, as long as you're using the functions uh, of copy to or copy from when you're creating marketing documents, then you will have uh, access using the right click on your mouse in any document to how to information to visual information on how that document was handled. Let's, for instance, we are in a purchase order and now we're going to create a goods receipt. Uh, for instance, uh, using the copy to function uh, in this document. So as long as we use that function, or as I mentioned, the copy from, uh, these documents will then be linked. Let's just add this good receipt without any additional information. Okay. Yes. Oh. Okay, we have a problem with the warehouse. Okay, I'm just going to show you the way this document was handled until until now. I'm using a demo uh, database, and uh, since I'm not a consultant, sometimes uh, the settings for for the for that item I'm not familiar with, and that's why this didn't work this time. But if you see, this is a simple relationship map. And uh, I, when I created this sales order and uh, I created these purchase orders, I were using the, the, the function. So a relationship map shows us uh, the, the way that a document was handled using the, the regular business processes. I'm going to open a different relationship map that I have here. For instance, I have this AP invoice. And I want to see how this document was handled using the regular business process. And uh, you see, this is a complex relationship map, but it does show you, you know, everything that was done to to create this AP invoice and every document that is related to this one document um, using the standard business functions and and the copy to and copy from. But the relationship map has more to it. And you can see that here you have a menu. So the standard, when you right click on your mouse and you choose relationship map in any marketing document, it's going to show you the document tree, which is this right here. But you have other options. You can also see the marketing document posting details in a visual way. So you see here, since we're always talking about this AP invoice, this is where we right clicked on this document. We were on this AP invoice when we right clicked on our mouse and we clicked on relationship map. This is going to be uh, the document that we're going to be seeing the, the marketing documents related to. So this AP invoice created this journal entry. We later used it in this internal reconciliation. You can also see uh, a relationship map for related items. And this AP invoice only included one item, but we have here even the picture and a little detail. And if we click on this tile, we'll go to the item master data for that item. This one is the one that I want to highlight today, and it's the reference documents. Sometimes uh, after you've created uh, a document that you, you've handled it using the regular business processes and using the copy to and copy from, you need to create an additional document and you need to reference it to, to your document, but you can't do it through the normal process because all those documents are already closed. Um, 
let's say in this case we created an AP credit memo it was a general credit memo we couldn't uh, relate it directly to the AP invoice but we want them to be referenced I'm going to show you right now how you can reference a document this is one of the ways that you can see a reference document so this reference document will show with a dotted uh, line instead of the regular line and it won't show on the regular marketing uh, document tree but you can always see it through here the way to create these reference documents is to in any in any um, marketing document let me close the relationship map you go to the accounting tab and here you find the reference document field by clicking on the little uh, gray button, you can decide which document you want to reference to here. In the second tab, document referenced by, the one that we were seeing at the beginning, it's showing us that this document is already reference, referencing to this uh, AP credit memo. But if we wanna additionally refer this document to a different document, we will come here we will choose the type of document that we want to refer this document to and you see that the list is the, the options are many so you can reference any marketing document to an internal reconciliation a production order a journal entry incoming payment a landed cost document down payment any uh, there's a lot of documents that can be referenced and this can be very useful you just need to remember that uh, then you choose you choose the document you choose the document number Let's just choose this one and you update it and then it will already show on the on both the relationship map and if you go to the document and click here by looking at the second tab it'll show you which documents this is referenced to okay or referred by the relationship map let's see here We need to update the document before going to the relationship map. So you go to the relationship map and you go to reference documents. You will then see this other document, this new document that we added and we referenced. And that's all from me today. Um, Last week, we had a very interesting session on SAP Business One certification. And uh, I want to encourage all of you who could not attend and who might be interested to, to consume this content on demand. I'm going to be sharing um, where you can find that information, not only on that session last week, but on, on other webinars that we're working on me very quickly so this is our website you can you can look for it by clicking consensusintl.com and then if you navigate to the resources tab and the first option it's webinars and workshops and here you're going to have uh, information about our upcoming webinars this week we're having a very interesting webinar on uh, the approval process in SAP Business One it's going to be delivered by one of our experts Richard Calvo I highly recommend this webinar if you work with approval process processes so that you understand how everything works uh, and then here in the bottom of the page you can find information about past webinars that are now available on demand uh, we're going to be we're working hard on a lot of contents uh, to try and help you uh, our customers and uh, small and medium-sized businesses reinvent uh, yourselves uh, for the new reality and the new world that it's coming and uh, we're very excited about that and we really hope that they 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 prove to be helpful to you so again please visit our website and uh, register for the content that you might be interested in also please send us an email if you need help you can send an email to info at consensusintl.com I hope you have a very nice day today and see you tomorrow.